my body, my right. The mood is festive, but the issue stirs anxiety. These demonstrators were protesting a government plan to impose restrictions on abortion. They are getting involved in people's personal lives, says Meltem Oral, an art history student and women's rights activist. Even going so far as to lecture us that each family should have three children. Critics of the government say the abortion issue is one of many that shows a growing intolerance on the part of the Erdogan government, now in office for a decade, and a greater desire to meddle in citizens' lives. Issues that include minority rights and freedom of the press. The Committee to Protect Journalists has accused the government of launching one of the biggest crackdowns on press freedoms in history. Ahmed Shuk, a prominent investigative journalist, is among dozens who have been detained. Released for now, although his case is still in court. They said I was a terrorist, he tells us. But he says it was really because of a controversial book he was working on. Turkey may seem like a vibrant democracy when compared to its eastern neighbors, but Shuk says if you compare Turkey to the West, it's an undeveloped dictatorial regime. While not all of Erdogan's critics would go that far, anger is being fueled by a heavy-handed police response to protests. This is how they dealt with the procession of mourners a week after twin bombings killed dozens in the southern province of Hatay. And here, on Istanbul's famous Istiklal Street, not far from Taksim Square, they wade into a demonstration against plans to destroy an old movie theater. The government has ushered in an era of dynamic growth and modernization. Opponents say, at a cost to Istanbul's history, they're already fuming after the government limited how many tables bars could place outside. Aishinur Özdemir, a bar owner, says it's extinguishing the soul that defines this part of Istanbul. What you see now is not legal, she admits. It's her act of solidarity with Gezi Park. She and others often end up sheltering people when the riot police come. At a biker bar, we meet two friends. Taksim has always been a culture of fun, Hakan, a bartender, tells us. But the government wants to change this. It's not an issue of drinking or some treats, his friend Berk adds. It's about the level of interference in people's lives. Both agree that Erdogan has done much for Turkey. But they feel the government is slowly eroding their freedoms and identity. Impromptu alcohol stands have sprung up on the streets of Istiklal. And there are many other acts of defiance. The message to the government? You can't stop us living how we want to. Arwa Damon, CNN, Istanbul.